Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Okay, so finished up herbology and then sold some stuff to Greetings. this Please guy over here. Take your time looking about. Looking at the quest. We still don't have our mount yet. Going off of this list, I'll do potions first. Let's see, where's potions at? This is it? Yep. Larry Annex, Divination, no Central. Okay, now. Let's follow the book. I'm like only four hours in. Yeah, I mean, I've been enjoying every second of this game. Now, let be all of Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Which he is. It's fantastic. I saw an aura around Professor Sharp's desk. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Should you chop the Dittany or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion. Fine job brewing your first Wiccan World potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? Somebody's jealous, and it's showing. Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! 
And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. You remember me, don't you? Gareth Weasley. Ah, yes, we met in the common room. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. I don't know about this one. Should I get him the feather? Or fine. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I'm almost like 100% positive that Professor Sharp is going to notice. Keep your potion state organized and clear cut. Eggs. There's a chest in here. I mean, it's kind of obvious if I take it from there, he's definitely going to notice. Potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Let me confess. Professor, what should I be doing again? You should have collected the ingredients from my office and begun brewing a potion at your cauldron. Finish your potion and then return to me. I just want to confess I stole from your office. Come on. Here's the fooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. I hope it blows up in his face. Come on, put it in. I'm watching you. Oh, he didn't put it in. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. Lumos. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Not again! Oh, the smell! Dragon dog. What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. Yeah, Gareth. Well done. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Man, this guy just made Gryffindor lose points. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. 
I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. I heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp wasn't happy. Leave me out of your grand plans next time. Sorry to hear that. Hopefully he's already forgotten about it. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Lumos. Ugh, my robes are going to reek from Garrus' inspiration for the rest of term. Let's see what the next quest is. Okay, so we gotta go meet Natty in the lower hogs field. Let's open the map. World map. There's no food flame. Okay, um. See what's the closest foo flame? How do we zoom in? Okay. I'll just follow the book. There's something else too. A dash of powdered back. Both Hogsfields. I could just have a bath of it. There's not one week gone by I haven't had a howler from my Let mother. Me She's doing it deliberately. Oh, I, I stopped him. Can I steal the ball? Probably not. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I hate to see a creature get put down like that. But trolls have no business in Hogsmeade. Thank you. 
Wait, just how big is the map? Hold on. What? What? Holy, the map's kind of, oh. So it's a vertical map, top to bottom. And there's a lot of empty space. It's, it's probably a puzzle. I don't know if I can... Probably not. like a place right out of a storybook. <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Can you go swimming? <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Should I tell her? I mean, Professor Fig said to not tell people. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Yeah, what's going on here? Who's being threatened by who? For some assistance. Was it was it her? Hello? Can I help you? Oh thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! 
precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrally vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know of your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. No, they won't. Stop buying. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Do I just jump in? I guess so. Oh, you can swim. Okay. I wonder if you have boats or mounts that can go in the water. Man, the castle. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Oh nice, so it's the whole armor set. Let's see what, two more? Yep, two more. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. And we got a cool armor set in the process, not bad. Is that a puzzle? And there's a creepy forest over there. Dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. 
I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? Oh, I can keep it? I did find it. However, I've taken a liking to it, so I'm going to keep it. What? But you can't. It doesn't belong to you. Finders keepers, Grace. I can't believe this. Father's stupid oath just cost us a priceless family artifact. I hope your new astrolabe brings you nothing but sorrow. If you can even work out how to use it. Man, I she's knew pissed. I should have done the dive myself. Father's wishes be damned. No, why didn't you dive, Grace? It's all your fault. Check the quest. Trails of Merlin. Help the stranger. A woman needs. Was it? That was the woman who was shouting. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to. Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil! Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! You should never have come. There's more. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. What's the boss lady? The collections section of her field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insights on enemies, such as their weaknesses to certain spells. Okay. I see you. I'm not going anywhere with you. Oh, we can't dodge that. Right. Tell Rookwood to find me himself. Stop that, boy! That was devastating. Oh, the camera what's going on. Release me! What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. I've been so close to Hogwarts. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a travelling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specialising in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were mere myth. 
mere myth. <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Merlin was a Slytherin. I don't trust him now. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. I don't know how I feel about helping a Slytherin. This trunk? Yes, take plenty, even if you already have it. What? What does this guy do? Revelio. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. See that? The vines disappeared! What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Incendio! Mullen's beard! The flames make the pyre sink. I take it we can call that a success. We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my Lumos. notes and books. That was so cool. What the heck? Sir Nicholas, our house ghost, is looking for you. You can find him near the Great Hall. Alright, so... Lumos. Time to pay Headless Nick a visit. I get a quest. 
the hunt for the missing pages. Do you have any owl mail? Not really. Before I go, is there anything interesting? The video. What's this? Nice. Oh, is that a hippogriff? What? Oh, come back. Oh, he's gone. Lumos. Lumos. Okay, before I get sidetracked, let me head back to the castle. Come on. We gotta go to the Grey Hall. Oh, we don't have any flames, okay. Um, I guess we'll go from here to so the library and the central hall. This is one. This is four. Lumos. This one might be two. This is eight a minute. What just happened? The Chamber of Secrets? Okay, so the pattern is two on the right one and then three on the far right one one on the far left and then four on the close left so four Two, three, and the one. And then it opened this thing. Come on, go down. There we go. Where are we? 
can we jump off? I don't know. Tego. Revelia. Lumos. Oh, there's a big chest. Legendary gloves. Oh, there's another chest. Revelia. Oh, there's Lumos. another chest. This is like chest heaven right here. Very nice. <laughs> nice, we got the food flame. Gobstones. I met you. Oh, it's that same girl. The gobstone girl, right? I'm still rebuilding my gobstones collection, thanks to you. Yeah, I'm gonna steal them as well. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Here, let me just throw a take that. Lumos. Come on, attack her. Maybe not. Oh, the lag is coming in. Something must be loading. Come on, fix yourself, game. What's this for? Why is he here? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Where do you find the time for this and your homework? I've plenty of time for both. Been managing for years. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Descendium. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. A one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. Alright, this looks like a good stopping point for now. Let's stop right here.